Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ether Bennett's Garage. Uh, I know we're bouncing around our projects, but today we're going to be tearing down this uh, 6.5 liter Detroit diesel, which this is a IDI, which means indirect injection. I'll show you how all that works. This is a rare, not really rare, 92 to 93 with a mechanical DB2, but it has the 4911 designation, which means it was a turbocharged 65, which these pumps put out a little bit more fuel, and you can send them off and they'll put a little bit more power out. As uh, y'all can tell, I've gotten a little bit of work done to it already. We uh, ripped the intake off, the turbo manifold, the driver side manifold these injector lines are loose um however i still have to pull off injector lines all this good stuff i honestly paid 150 bucks for this engine it allegedly ran i have no idea i want to rebuild it for uh, a different project for a project y'all haven't seen yet but uh just figured i'd give y'all an update before i took it too much farther apart uh we'll get back to y'all whenever i find something interesting hopefully nothing is too badly damaged in here but we'll see what happens <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're back. I uh, I got the injector lines taken off, water pump taken off, which exposes the uh, timing gears for the pump, and then fuel lines, valve covers are loose, a couple other things maybe. I wanted to take a minute to show y'all the uh, speed parts I already have for a 6.5, which I have another one that runs if this one's no good. We have a uh, trusty old China, China HX40, head studs and main studs. 
I got a smoking deal on these. They are not new, but they're still in the original. They've never been used. And just, I bought them off a guy that he didn't want to do anything with them. So, I will see, we'll see what happens. So, right off the bat, I am, I was expecting much worse. Which, whatever gasket they used, it was very sticky. I mean, that looks good. Nothing too out of sorts on this side. And, uh, let's see what this side looks like. I haven't, not really too bad. No rust. Wow. That looks real nice. I guess next step is we're going to, um, uh, pull all the valve train. I'm going to pull the pump off so that way I can blow all this off. Pull all the valve train off. I'm going to pull the heads off. We'll get back to you whenever I do that. Alrighty guys, so uh I don't I I don't know where I left off. I guess I pulled the valve covers off. And uh since then I've got a little bit more stuff done. Pulled the pump off, took that gear off, pulled the heads off, and if you look carefully, you can notice there is still some cross hatching in the cylinder bore. And it's not on that it's not on just that cylinder, it's on every single cylinder. There is some cross hatching. Like, I cannot believe the deal I got on this engine. So these two cylinders did have oil in them, but this thing was also sitting on its side. So I can understand why there would be oil in them. And I mean, I'm just blown away. And so then I started looking at this and, uh, I'm like, well, I wonder, well, the first thing that I noticed is whenever I pulled these heads off is that these pre-chambers, they have a T and two dots, a T and two dots. And I have never seen a T and two dots. I thought that they were diamond chambers, but I don't know what this is. I need to, I'm going to ask my one of my buddies, and we we'll, might see what we know. But I question if these heads are not different heads. If they're not the original heads. But then again, I mean, there's no ring ridge. Like, I can't believe the, how good of a deal I got on this engine. Like, I, my buddy needed a block, and I had a good block with no web cracking, and a no ring ridge. But I didn't have any uh, cross hatches. So I, I don't know. I just pulled the pan off and I've been letting the oil drain. And I'm going to flip this thing over. And we're going to see how many, what, how much cross hatches we have. I mean how many web cracks we have. But I just wanted to go ahead and touch base with y'all. And say that this, right now. This is looking very, very promising. Which if, I mean, if the bearings look as good as the cylinders do, I'm not even going to, I was going to put rings. But there's cross hatches, there's no reason for me to waste money on rings. So, all it's going to be, main studs, head studs, head gasket, or just a gasket kit. And we're going to be putting this puppy back on the road once I get the pump built by uh, Verlin Martin. But we will check back with you all in a second once I've pulled a rod, a main, and inspected for web cracking. So, all right, we'll be back. All righty, guys. I knew a good thing was too good to be true. If you look carefully, I don't even know what you call that. That's not a web cracking because web cracking is spiral cracking. That is just cracked. And I'm, I'm really curious. I'm going to send some feeler out to a couple of my crew. And see what their opinion is of it. But I ain't never seen nothing like that. Like that whole... You can see there's a crack on that side and a crack on this side. Which you can't see a crack over here. But it is definitely a crack right there. 
which I'm probably still gonna run this thing. I mean, the crank bearings are beautiful, mains and rods. And then if you look at at the uh, cap bearing, that is immaculate. These have like weird discolorations in them. Like, I'm really curious. I'm gonna, let me know if y'all, what y'all think of that, but. I was really excited about this engine until I saw it crack. Which that still ain't gonna stop me from nothing. I mean, I, I mean, the uh, threads look good in there. And uh, the rod, the main caps bolts look good. And I have studs for it anyway, so I mean, I'm just frustrated because I wanted it to be perfect like the other block I sold. But, can't have everything in life. And uh, I went ahead also, and I stamped each one of these with the uh, cylinder number in them. Just that way I'd be nice and organized. But alrighty. I guess that's going to do it for this video. Um, we got, got the shop messy as usual. Um, I mean, but I think this is still a good block to use, just slightly frustrating. But alrighty, oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really like to hear some of y'all's opinions on what I should even do with this engine, because... I'm really, I really want to know what causes this. And, uh, I really want to know what y'all think of this crack. But, anyways, we'll catch y'all next time. Y'all don't have too much fun.